what is up hello my name is grant and i have a question <coughs> would you watch me try to turn this old dog of a truck into a crazy six door suv thing that i have in mind or no <laughs> because if nobody's interested in it i'm not gonna waste my time trying to film it and all of the ridiculousness that <coughs> probably comes along with trying to do a YouTube channel. So yeah, that's that's my very first video of this series or whatever you want to call it. I don't have a YouTube channel that does series. So I'm just blah, 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 and saying things that I see other YouTube people say. But I'm really curious uh, if you guys would watch. So here's what it is. It's a 2004 GMC Sierra Duramax four-wheel drive uh, truck that has gazillion miles on it, like over 500,000 miles on the chassis. It had the original factory motor. I had another motor put in it 60,000 miles before it blew up the crankshaft and it's been sitting in my driveway, annoying my wife for at least the last year, possibly two. I'm losing track. It's growing mold at this point. So I have finally forced myself to get over the hump and I had the blown up motor rebuilt by South Houston engine right here in the Houston area and it is sitting right there yes and it's got a Cali's crank and uh, alternate fire camshaft I ordered a fluid damper uh, harmonic balancer for it like blah 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 parts 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 like we'll get into that like I will absolutely lay them all out and talk you through everything I have in mind but again should I even film that it seems like a ton of work um, but you know I, I love the idea that car projects and community and people maybe that live locally like I don't know any other Houston like diesel type dudes I know there's lots of them out there but where I live in Sugarland you know, it just seems like everybody just goes in their house and shuts the door and like nobody ever talks to each other. So part of this idea is that like maybe we could build a little local community of car enthusiasts and like our families could hang out and that would be awesome. So, um, yeah, I, I, I'm not a mechanic. Uh, I've always loved cars, I, um, but I'm an arborist by trade. So I got a job. This isn't some sort of like full blown full time YouTube channel. Um, some of the stuff we would probably film would be like how do you turn into a carport you know with like no doors <laughs> walls into a, a place where you can work on cars i have a couple plans like my friend drew up some stuff for me i can throw those up on the screen uh here's what we've already done like me and my boys we basically tore the motor down there's the uh custom two-piece dry shaft you know um that's where it's sheared look at that just bam sheared them sheared the thing right off right there the one two journal um the the truck already had a pretty sweet uh sportsman exergy sportsman pump that's a stealth 64 down there i had pp up pipes like kind of like right there at the full bolt-on full bolt-on motor like whatever that means man I, all the car stuff cracks me up um so yeah like what would it be like to spend probably two years like <laughs> based on my pace two years wrenching on an old truck that's got a lot of sentimental value i could tell the stories of kind of why why it matters and like why keep it running would you guys watch that you know would you watch me stumble and fall through getting the motor back in or gosh the motor really put together you know the machine shop really takes you through the hard parts like the things that you definitely don't want to try to do in your driveway but you still got to get all this stuff put on back right and sealed up and you never done that before uh so that the shop uh you know hot and riding the thing like making it and then uh, gosh like don't even mention like how, the idea of taking the bed off of a truck right like we're gonna go right up under here what is there four bolts i don't know four bolts some wiring and then boom take the take the bed off go buy a donor tahoe or a donor sierra uh chop that in half weld that onto the back here cut the uh you know cut this out of your truck and make a pass through like it seems insane 
I mean, it really seems insane. I can't even believe I'm putting it out there on the internet that I'm considering doing this. But hey, look, if people encourage each other, I, I think we can kind of accomplish a lot of cool stuff. So if you guys are interested and encouraged, uh, I, I gotta get to a thousand subscribers. That's kind of like my goal right now because that's when YouTube says like, there's a possibility of monetization. Like, so look, I'm not trying to make a ton of money off this. I just don't want to go through the effort of posting, filming and posting. If like, it's like, <sighs> you're like, nobody's, nobody's gonna watch that. So um, that's me. I was probably all over the place in the video. I'm, I'm not a video editor guy. If I can't get it right on camera, then you're just what you're going to get. So peace guys. And, uh, thanks for watching. If you made it this far.